Good day. And welcome back to my YouTube channel The Agriculturo. So, I want to share to you the rice defoliator, the rice whirl maggot so, what it does. The feeding damage of whirl maggots causes yellow spots, white or transparent patches, and pinholes. The larva uses its hardened mouth hooks to rasp the tissues of unopened leaves or the growing points of the developing leaves. The damage becomes visible when the leaves grow old. Mature larva prefers to feed on the developing leaves of the new developing tillers at the base of the rice plant. Why and where it occurs Rice whirl maggot 1 Standing water in paddies during the vegetative stage, presence of host plants year-round, and transplanting of young seedlings favor the development of rice whirl maggot. The rice whirl maggot is semi-aquatic. It is common in irrigated fields and feeds on the central whirl leaf of the vegetative stage of the rice plant. It does not occur in upland rice. It also prefers ponds, streams, and lakes or places with abundant calm water and lush vegetation. The insect does not prefer direct seeded fields and seed beds. The adult is active during the day and rests on rice leaves near the water. It floats on the water or perches on floating vegetation. At midday, it is sedentary or it clings on upright vegetation. It prefers thick vegetation and is attracted to open standing water around seed beds. Neonate maggots feed on the unopened central leaves where larval development is completed in 10-12 days. The full-grown maggots pupate outside the feeding stock. How to identify rice whirl maggot damage Check the plant for the following symptoms, white or transparent patches pinholes damaged leaves easily break from the wind somewhat distorted leaves clear or yellow spots on inner margins of emerging leaves stunting few tillers check for the presence of insects, elongate. White eggs glued on leaves transparent to light cream legless young larvae rasping the tissues of unopened leaves yellow mature larva feeding on developing leaves of the new developing. Tillers at the base of the rice plant Why is it important the rice whirl maggot begins to infest the rice plant at transplanting? It locates rice fields by reflected sunlight from the water surface. Using insecticides is not recommended for the rice whirl maggot control because the rice plant can compensate for the damage. How to manage there is no cultural control for rice whirl maggot. Small wasps parasitize the eggs and the maggots. Dolicopatid flies prey on the eggs and ephedrid flies and spiders feed on the adults. The rice plant can compensate for the damage caused by the rice whirl maggot. Usually, the symptoms disappear during the maximum tillering stage of the crop. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like and share or you'll hurt my